Earlier this week I received quite a hefty package. I would have never imagined that I may one day have one of these, but thanks to all of you watching my videos, X2 contacted me and then sent me their M1 enclosed laser cutter slash engraver with the blade cutting functionality. Since the laser can be pretty dangerous for your eyes, this enclosed cutter has an access door made out of transparent yellowish material that filters the harmful light out. Now let's get right into the sweet stuff. I set the machine up, leveled it, installed the extractor hose on and started playing around. I wanted to do this review in a meaningful way for the scale modeling community. So first we are going to cut some garage doors for a diorama I am working on. I decided to make them from 2mm thick balsa wood and in individual planks. I will leave the Fusion 360 side of this project for the diorama video, but after some tweaking of the file and the M1 settings, I got the sweetest wooden garage door ever. All individual planks cut out perfectly for less than 5 minutes. The quality of the cut is far superior than anything I could have achieved with a scalpel blade. Just check out how thin those of cuts are. Buzz wood and plywood to certain thicknesses are not a problem, but what about some XPS foam? Here it is all about the settings. I haven't found the perfect combo to cut cleanly yet, but for engraving it is easier. I downloaded a black and white cobblestone design from the interwebs and directly imported it into the software. It is interesting that you can achieve different effects changing the settings, whether you want deeper grooves or shallower ones. Regardless, the results are quite good. Again, in a matter of few minutes, I was holding a section of a cobblestone road in my hands. Brickwork or anything similar should not be any more difficult. This opens a whole host of new opportunities and should make the process a lot faster. Another material that can be cut out with the laser is sponge type material. I think this can be quite handy for two boxes or to create the perfect model transportation enclosure. Since this is a 10 watt diode laser, metals are not its forte. But engraving or rather some sort of etching is well within the capabilities of the machine. I can barely feel any texture left from the laser, but the engravings are there to stay. I need to work on the alignment though. Like the silhouette cutter or similar machines, this one has the capability of cutting with a knife. So to test this out, I placed an A3 cutting mat inside. There are two sticky cutting mats in the kit, but they are for materials that don't have any adhesive properties. I on the other hand wanted to use regular Tamiya tape and just stuck it on the cutting mat, just like if I were to cut it myself. The software of the M1 allows for some default shapes to be used and together with the built-in camera it is pretty easy to put a few circles with the exact dimensions onto the masking tape. And after the cutter do its job, I got myself perfect wheel masks again in no time. Probably the most surprising for me was the result after I put a kit part under the laser. Again using the built-in shapes of the software and the camera, I placed an oblong shape on the kit part. This shape is similar in size to those access panels that are not so easy to reproduce. With a single pass the laser created a nice panel line with a consistent depth and just a small bird to be cleaned up. But this is the case when you scribe with needle or a scriber, so it's not an issue. I think this would be possible only on flat surfaces, but still it is a good feature. According to the manufacturer specifications, there are many more materials that the laser or the cutter can work on. And in addition to that, the X2 offer a rotary device that allows cylindrical objects to be engraved. All of that you can find in the link in the description box of this video. Currently there is an Halloween discount 
and it will last until the end of the month. So go and check X-Tools out. In a later video I will take a deeper dive into the setup and the settings for the various materials, but for now thank you for watching and until next time, happy modeling fellas!